so we're back again with now another NBA 2K19 My Team video and I could not tell you how excited I am to bring this one because you can see by the thumbnail and the title, we're about to complete all-time domination. So as I go into this game right now, you can see what, I'm up by 34 points and this is the final game. Steph Curry has 85 points and if you guys haven't seen my tip video on domination, highly recommend you do because that's the reason why I'm able to get that many points. We're just going to throw up a random shot. I don't even care. We ended up winning. Why not just make this 88 points with Steph real quick? Just pop that one and he'll make it. And now there's only five seconds left on the clock. This has been a massive grind. So I'm so excited to finally have finished. We ended up beating the final team. Let's just hope we get the right amount of MT. And I'm, yeah, I'm pretty confident we already have. I only need a thousand and I think we're going to get like 1,200 from this. Yeah, 1,166. That's all we need. We're going to end up getting those three stars. There's the one star right there. There's the two stars. And for the final three, we ended up finishing it. I'm very happy right now. Just look at Steph Curry's stats. 88 points, 17 minutes, 28 of 38 from three. As I said, you have to check my tutorial if you want to know how I beat these games so easily. The question is, does anything pop up when you complete this? Because I know nothing does for regular domination or historic. And the answer is no, nothing pops up. But you guys can see when I go over to domination right now, 99 stars, 99 stars, 99 stars, all time domination has been complete. And that means I've now got my first pink diamond on the squad and it's Maurice Lucas. I don't know too much about this dude, but we're going to open up the reward card. And this was the grind that you got for completing all time domination. And I'm pretty hyped to see the pink diamond flash. It looks pretty nice to be honest. So we're going to flip this right now. I'm extremely hyped. The first pink diamond joining the squad. It's a power forward playing for the Portland Trailblazers. It's my favorite team. There he is, Maurice Lucas right there with the flames going off in the background. There's the pink diamond animation. Bro, I'm so hyped to see that card. So here we go. Now that he's on my team, we're able to look at his stats. So he's a 97 overall pink diamond power forward. He's only six foot nine, which isn't the tallest, but it should be okay. He then is a 95 on offense and 99 on defense, which should be so OP at the start of the year. With then 96 standing layup, 78 driving layup, which is okay, but all his post scoring stats are extremely good. They're all in the 90s. 91 draw foul as well. 90 96 shot close, 94 open shot mid range, which should be nice. Unfortunately, only a 70 open shot three, but maybe we can put a diamond shot on that to increase it a little bit. 83 free throw, which is good. 95 standing dunk, 80 driving dunk, 70 contact dunk, so he can definitely throw it down. Not the greatest passing, but you don't need that in power forward. He has very good defense though, with 93 block, 97 shot contest, and 85 steal. Really good rebounding as well, all in the 90s, and he's got 79 speed, which is pretty nice. 78 excel, 96 strength, which is super good. 95 stamina as well, and you can see all the mental stuff. That's, that's all the defense. Pretty much everything's in the 90s. Actually, everything is in the 90s. And I feel like cards this year with good defensive stats are actually so overpowered, like it actually shows in game. So I'm excited to use this man. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the best dunking tendencies. Only a 35 for the driving dunk, 40 for the standing, and 40 for the flashing. So I don't know how many dunks we're going to see. But the system proficiencies are extremely good across the board, with the lowest only being 87. And then he comes with five Hall of Fame badges. This is the first card I've got on my team that has Hall of Fame badges. It comes with rim protector, charge card, defensive stopper, hustle rebounder, and putback king. I think defensive stopper and hustle rebounder should be extremely nice together. But then to top it off, he also has 12 gold badges, including one man fast break, catch and shoot, brick wall, bruiser, break starter, dimer, pickpocket, pick and popper, and pick dodger. So he's really got all the badges that you want in a power forward. And he also has five hall of fame. So I'm not complaining for this to be a free reward card. But you guys can see here, I've got a lot of packs because I saved a few just because I wanted to show them on camera. They're pretty boring. They just give you balls. Like basketballs is what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm saying. But we get a silver, three silvers there. We get a shoe and a health card and then a basketball. Yeah, these really don't look... Well, Acrobat's not too bad of a badge. I think I'm just going to skip the rest of these packs. I don't think you guys really want to see it. All we're getting is just contracts and um, basketballs. I'm pretty sure we unlock something when I actually press X here. Or maybe on the next one. I'm not too sure. Okay, not on this one. Maybe on the next one. Okay, it's definitely this one. The last team for the East collection. And we should unlock, I think, another ball. I was hoping that we would get token like we did for the last dominations but it looks like you get this blue camo ball so if we go over to collection now and then basketball rewards you can see i can actually redeem this and it means i get another basketball and then i can go over to the west as well and get another basketball and the reason why you'd want these two basketballs is so then you can actually get the disco ball so it looks like you do have to complete all-time domination to get the disco ball i don't really care for the disco ball i always just use the normal ball so I guess if you want the disco ball, then there you go. But I'm guessing the question a lot of you guys were asking is other than packs and other than the pink diamond, 
what were the rewards for all-time domination? So for every single game, if you got three stars, you got one token, also a thousand MT. And I thought you were going to be able to get more tokens per game when you moved on into the division. But unfortunately, when you get to the end game of the division, you also only get one token. But it definitely adds up because that means once you complete every regular all-time domination team, you get 30 free tokens. And then not to mention, once you complete a single division, you get 10 tokens. There's six divisions, so that's 60 more tokens. So if we do the maths already, 30 plus 60 equals 90. 90 tokens and then not to mention the all-time eastern and all-time western games give you so many more tokens if you're able to get three stars they both give you 23 tokens so 23 plus 23 equals 46 then if we add the 90 that's 130 wait wait 136 tokens just for getting to this stage of the game but then once you do the final game this one rewards so many more tokens you can see for one star you get eight tokens for two stars 10 and for three stars, 24 tokens. So all up, if you get three stars in this game, you get 42 tokens, which is insane. So I did the maths, and if you get three stars for every single game in all-time domination, you'll end up getting 178 tokens. Not to mention, you also get a pink diamond as well. And because of how many tokens I was awarded out of the whole of domination, I've got four diamonds on my team, and I'm gonna be able to buy another one very soon out of the token market. And to be honest, when I looked at domination this year from afar, I didn't think it was too great because I looked at Marie Lucas and thought he was okay. Bernard King wasn't really the best either and Mark Eden was alright. But I didn't realize how key the tokens were until later in the game and they are so key because I've got so many diamonds on my team now. Like if we check my collection you can see I have completed quite a few of the teams but I haven't completed all of them. And then when you look at my team I mean it's just absolutely crazy. Like three diamonds in the starting lineup, a pink diamond as well, two diamonds off the bench. You know what let's get a diamond point guard as well. So I'm literally sitting on 156 MT right now but I think it's going to be worth it because when we go over to the Phoenix Suns collection, we're going to lock it in for 20 more tickets, which will bring us up to 67, which is enough for another diamond. And I was sort of deciding either between this Baron Davis who has an 89 three ball or this Charlie Scott who's actually six foot five and has a pretty good three ball at an 82, but then also has 85 driving dunk and he does look extremely good because he also has 95 speed. I was considering him, but I think the difference between an 82 three ball and an 89 for what Baron Davis has I just got to go Baron Davis. So this is going to be our point guard. We're going to purchase with 60 tickets. I will end up getting all these diamond players, but I think I just want diamond Baron Davis a little bit earlier. So we got him. And now, ladies and gentlemen, when we put Baron Davis in, look at that starting lineup. That's like one of the scariest starting lineups. I think it is the scariest starting lineup you can pretty much have this year. It's only if you're one of the three people that have got these pink diamond rewards so far, then you're above me. But yeah, this team's absolutely crazy and I'm so happy that I've been able to grind it out and get the squad. If you guys do want to see a lot of gameplay with this team, I will be streaming on Twitch a lot. So be sure to follow me there. It's just at Killsmite and it's linked down below. So is my Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow that as well. But yo, just looking at this team is absolutely crazy. We got our first pink diamond already within the week of the game coming out and obviously seeing the 99 99 and 99 stars completed makes me extremely happy as well so the question is do i recommend that you guys grind through domination and complete it just like i did i think my answer has to be yes because you really do get a lot of tokens and the players that you get are actually pretty good as well like this mark eden was extremely good for me in domination i've played a couple of my team unlimited games with bernard king as well and he was a monster obviously i haven't played with maurice lucas yet but i will get a gameplay on him and he's a pink diamond he should be good no matter what but i think the main reason you want to do domination is because then you can get the tokens because you get so many as i said 178 tokens just for completing all-time domination and i did the maths in my other videos for fantasy and nba domination off the top of my head i think all up you get almost 450 tickets maybe around that for just completing domination which is definitely quite a lot so yeah i'm so happy i was able to get it done and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will get gameplay out with this maurice lucas asap and also the rest of these diamond players because my team is looking so nice right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe for new follow me on twitch twitter and instagram because this grind was real and i hope you guys enjoyed watch my tip video as well if you need help on how to beat domination because this year's domination was so easy for me thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye